Hey guys. Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Guru. Hope you all are fine. As you all know that in previous video. We have discussed about leveling. Today our topic is. Types of errors in leveling. So move towards our today's topic. Types of errors. Collimation error. Error due to curvature. And refraction. Instrumental errors. Collimation error. Collimation error. Is due to the line of sight of a survey instrument. Not coinciding with traversing gear. Scales or leveling devices. The collimation line is the line of sight passing through the intersection of the crosshairs of the reticule. The collimation method is the height of instrument method of leveling, whereby fore and aft readings are made on a leveling staff by an instrument placed intermediately so that the rise or fall between the fore station and the back station is shown by a change in the staff reading. Error due to curvature. To understand the simple concept of error due to curvature of the earth, First you have to understand the shape of the earth and the methods and instruments which we employ for calculating these distances. When we do leveling with the autolite or auto level, the line of sight first is set horizontal. Then we measure the vertical angle to the target and by applying some trigonometrical formulae, we can calculate the vertical distance of the target from that horizontal line. Error due to curvature comes into play because in the cases of long distances, the horizontal line and level line do not coincide. Level line is a curved line, parallel to the level surface, but the horizontal lines go straight. This means that the vertical distance of that target from the level line is going to be larger than the distance, which we calculate from the horizontal line. Please refer the figure given above. The amount of correction depends upon the magnitude of the horizontal distance between the target and the instrument station. Error due to refraction. Error to refraction can be understood easily. Once you understand the phenomenon which takes place when light passes from one density system to another density system, refraction is nothing but the phenomenon by which when light travels from a denser media to the lighter media, it deflects away from the normal to the plane of the media. Phenomenon occurs vice versa. When light travels from lighter media to denser media, this phenomenon has to be considered in the calculation of the distances in case of geodetic surveying. Suppose a man is taking the observation of the top of a hill from a point, which is at a considerable down far vertical distance from it to change the density of the air. We know that density of air decreases with the height. This will affect your line of sight. The line of sight of the person who is taking observation to a point at a quite higher distance will be a curved path because light will continuously change its direction due to the continuous change in the density of the air. Instrumental errors. Instrument error refers to the error of a measuring instrument or the difference between the actual value and the value indicated by the instrument. There can be errors of various types. And the overall error is the sum of the individual errors. Types of errors include systematic errors, random errors, absolute error, other error, systematic errors. The size of the systematic error is sometimes referred to as the accuracy. For example, the instrument may always indicate a value 5% higher than the actual value or perhaps the relationship between the indicated and actual values may be more complicated than that. A systematic error may arise because the instrument has been incorrectly calibrated, or perhaps because a defect has arisen in the instrument since it was calibrated. Random errors. The range and amount of possible random errors is sometimes referred to as the precision. Random errors may arise because of the design of the instrument. In particular they may be subdivided between errors in the amount shown on the display and how accurately the display can actually be read. Other errors. The act of taking. The measurement may alter the quantity being measured. For example, an ammeter has its own built-in resistance. So if it is connected in series to an electrical circuit, it will slightly reduce the current flowing through the circuit. If you guys enjoyed our today's video, then like, comment and share our today's video and subscribe our channel Civil Engineering Guru and support our channel to grow more. Thank you. Bye.